Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habitha fillah Imam ibn Uthaymeen was asked during his sittings for Ramadan please explain for us the meaning of the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says إِنَّمَا تَوْبَتُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ لِلَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ السُّوءُ بِجَهَالَةٍ ثُمَّ يَتُوبُونَ مِنْ قَرِيبٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah An-Nisa, verse 17, Verily, toba or repentance, is upon Allah, meaning accepting repentance, for those that do uh, sinfulness or wickedness, out of ignorance, then they return. They repent soon. <clears throat> and then the questioner says to the end of the ayat. So if a person repents after tens of years, do they enter under this ayat? And the word qurb, or soon, what does it mean here? Because it's not uh, specified. And what is meant by jahala? What is meant by ignorance here? Does it mean ignorance of the sharia? Or does it mean ignorance of... what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded and adhering to it. And is it the ignorance that has overcome many of the people due to hard hearts? What is your advice for us with regards to this verse? The Imam said, Fi hadhil ayat أوجب الله سبحانه وتعالى على نفسه تقرما منه وتفضلا توبة عليه. So he said in this ayat, Allah subhanahu wa taala has make it made it an obligation upon himself to accept repentance. And he said, and then he reads the ayat: للذين يعملون سوء بجهالة ثم يتوبون من قريب. Verily, those who do wickedness out of ignorance, then they repent soon. He says, this means, a yutubuna qabl al-mawt. This means that they repent before death. Meaning that qurb here, qarib, soon, refers to death. It doesn't refer to a time period, a short time period, but it refers to death. And he says, "What dalil? The evidence for this? What dalil? Ala anna hada huwa qarib qolahu fil ayat alati qablaha." Because the evidence for this is in the ayat or the verse which comes before that. وَلَيْسَ تَلْتَوْبَةُ لِلَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ سَيَّاتِ حَتَّى إِذَا حَذَرَ أَهْدَهُمُ الْمَوْتِ قَالَ إِنِّي تُبْتُ وَلَانِ In the verse that precedes this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And toba, repentance, is not for those who do wickedness until death is close to them, until death uh, comes to them, and then they say, Now I repent. So Allah is denying, negating toba for the person who's just you know, it's too late now. They're on their deathbed. The death is at their throat. The Sheikh then says, what is meant by jahala, what is meant by uh, ignorance here, is foolishness. And it is going against the commands uh, intentionally. So this is intentional disobedience. وَلَيْسَ عَنْ جَهَلٍ It doesn't mean out of ignorance that they have done this sin 
that they were ignorant that it was a sin, but rather they intentionally went against the uh, Sharia or against I, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's command. He said, لِأَنَّ جَهَالَ غَيْرَ جَهَلْ وَجَهَالَةُ هِيَ سَفَاهَ كَمَا كَمَا قَالَ شَاعِرٍ uh, so he said, and be, this is because jahil, the term jahil, ignorance, is different. It differs from jahala, the meaning of jahala. He says jahala means that this is, that, um, that this is foolishness. So it's not j ignorance of something and understanding something improperly, but this is intentionally being foolish and stupid for lack of better terms he says yani safaha wa itida uh, he's talking about the poetry he mentioned some poetry and we're not going to read the poetry he says wa mukhalafat lin amr an am so it is going against uh the truth or a command intentionally this is intentional disobedience to allah ثُمَّ مَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ فَتَابَ مِنْ قَرِيبٍ And then Allah favors this person and they repent soon. Meaning, in the soon here, as we mentioned, means death. He says, فَأُولَيْكَ يُتُوبُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ Those ones, Allah accepts their repentance. No matter how large their sin is. And then he says, قال الله تعالى and he mentions another verse قل يا <coughs> قل يا عباد الذين أصرفوا على أنفسهم لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Zumr verse 35 say O oh my slaves or my servants those who uh who oppress themselves do not give up on the mercy do not despair at the mercy of Allah verily Allah forgives all sins verily he is the oft pardoning or he is the most forgiving most merciful and then the shaykh ended that halaka, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself, the Shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.